morning. Happy Monday. Uh, hope you're alright. Hope you had a good weekend. I've had a lovely weekend. But alas, Monday's here again. Like an insistent, rather annoying friend who's hopefully got some coffee for me when I get into work. What's that car doing? He's wondering what I'm doing. Let's let him go past. There he goes, love. Okay. Sorry, little car revving a little bit more. Okay, right. My theme for today is basically changing your mind. I've got a lot of things that I used to sneer upon. Um, I can be a bit of a snob sometimes and I think I'm less so now. I'm less likely to dismiss things just off the, off the bat now. Um, but I think when I was younger I had a lot of ideas that um, were quite judgy to be honest. Like only posh people would have cars that have electric windows in. I will never have a car with electric windows in because I'm not a posh person. Now, obviously, that was probably in like 1985 or something. And all cars now have electric windows, so pretty much. So I've been forced to change my mind, really. But another thing that's made me change my mind, um, the, another thing about cars, sorry, that I used to think, well, wow, whatever, is people that go on about how aircon will change your life. Oh my God, I could not have a car without aircon now. Oh my goodness me. Can you imagine sitting in traffic and having all that stale, warm air floating around? Well, not me. I have the aircon. And I thought, oh, don't be ridiculous. You don't need aircon. I love aircon. I cannot imagine having a car without aircon. So there you go. <laughs> I think my mum is the same about heated seats now and heating steering wheels because she does a lot of open water swimming. So it's nice to get in, back into a, a cozy car. But yeah, aircon. Oh my goodness, darlings, aircon. Another thing that I thought was a little bit uh, was, um, oh my goodness, darling. I cannot, cannot imagine life without my soft clothes toilet seat. Oh no, it has improved the quality of my life. It's true. If I now go somewhere and they've not got a soft touch toilet seat, I end up slamming the toilet seat down by accident and it really knocks me off. So yeah, I couldn't live without a soft clothes toilet seat now. Um, if my kitchen had cupboard doors, I think I'd slam them. I've only got like a couple of cupboard doors. My kitchen's falling to bits. I need a new kitchen. And oh my goodness, I will totally be trying to get the soft clothes cupboard doors. <laughs> oh yes. Um, so that's something that I used to think was a little bit there and a little bit like overindulgent for posh people who've got more money than sense. Um, the reason I'm thinking about this today is because someone posted on Facebook yesterday, um, can you remember what it feels like to hand wash dishes? And one of the things that's still on my list is, oh my goodness, I could not live without my dishwasher. I, I, I've never had a dishwasher. Um, I've got a lot of things I already hate about dishwashers and I don't hate many things. See what I mean? When I get judgy, I, I, I feel the hate. <laughs> I don't actually judge people that have dishwashers because I understand that it could be, be will help you if you like dishwashers. But the one thing that puts me off, I've got a thing about textures. I don't like the feel of water and wet skin and things. But it, if I have a glass that's been washed in a dishwasher, it, it's kind of squeaky and it goes right through me. So I'm not sure that I'd I'd be able to be converted to having a dishwasher. And I'm, you know, as I've mentioned in previous things, 
I procrastinate and I put off doing jobs and because I'm scared that I can't do them. Washing the dishes is something that I can actually do. So why would I take that away from myself? It's, it's a quick win. If I'm feeling a bit like, oh, I'm rubbish, I can't do anything, and I can see there's a massive heap of dishes in the kitchen, then I'm a hero again. Oh my, look, look that, look, all these dishes were dirty and now they are clean, instant gratification. I'm not sure that I'd want that taken away from me. So yeah, so what have I got on the list so far of things I used to think were, I was terribly posh and um, <laughs> Soft, close toilet seats, electric windows in cars, aircon I think one of the things that I've not actually experienced yet that I was totally totally against when I was a child but I'm now like really want to do it is Disney World I I was quite poor growing up and I had I think everyone probably had them in their school if you if you were poor growing up and you you knew people that had money then you will know this it's the people that that come back after the summer holiday and they've got like the Mickey Mouse glasses on and they've got Mickey Mouse headbands and they've got their I've been to Disney World and you haven't t-shirt on and I hated Disney World because it reminded me that I was really poor and didn't get things that I wanted to do I think that was it so now I've actually got past that and realised that yeah, if I want to do something I'll do it regardless of how much money I've got if I want to do something bad enough I'll, I'll find a way to do it if I don't do it then it's not because everyone else is rubbish and, and it's not fair it's because I obviously don't want to do it enough because I think if you want to do something enough then you, you do find a way definitely so Disneyland is in Disney World and all of the Disney tourist places um, they're they were things that I couldn't stand and they're things that I, I can I think I could change my mind on quite easily now. Um, one thing that I'm waiting to change my mind on is liking olives because people either say, oh my god I hate olives too, or they say, oh I'm not sure I can speak to you anymore if you don't like olives. Ha 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 ha, I thought you were a sophisticate. <laughs> so, but I do want to like olives. And then I don't want to like olives because of that last thing. <laughs> so I keep trying olives um, and I'd like to change my mind on them because I, I, I pride myself on the, the amounts of different types of food that I actually like. So it does, it does annoy me that olives defeat me. But um, yeah, olives. Halloumi is the other one that I don't like. and. I'm not bothered if I don't like that, to be honest. Oh, I've got any little spaces in the little... Oh, I think... Mm. Uh, yeah, let's put it down here. So, yeah, um, another one that I would like to change my mind on is gin. I'd like to like gin. I'd like gin to like me. I'd like it to not make me nostalgia cry every time I try and drink it. So gin. Gin's another one. And what other things? Tom Cruise. I'd like him to change my mind. I think I'd like him a bit more than I used to. I used to, oh God, but he, I think, I think I'm a bit more compassionate in my old age and I think that I've, yeah, I should maybe cut him some slack. I realise that famous people, you know, they're not there to be kind of loved or hated or whatever, they're, they're there to be understood and maybe I should try and understand Tom Cruise a little bit more, yeah. Okay, I've landed here now, um, so I hope you've enjoyed my little waffle of fun about things that I've changed my mind about and about things that I can't imagine changing my mind about and I'd be interested to know if you've got any similar experiences of growing up thinking a certain thing about something and then changing your mind and actually embracing it or, or the other way around or thinking you know you've always had a dishwasher as a child and then you've grown up and now you can't imagine having a dishwasher again or something like that hmm. I don't know and yeah I, I want to feel the um I want to see the love in the comments for soft closed toilet seats 
it really has improved the quality of my life. Got one at work as well, so I just feel totally cushioned from slamming toilet seats in most of my most of my life. I feel sheltered now. I feel like I'm protected by from the world through my soft closed toilet seat. So it, yeah, it does give me um, make me feel a bit scared if um, if I go into any other toilet that isn't soft closed that I may have to close. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm waffling now. I need to get in that office and I need to get some coffee down me pretty quick. I'm tired after a lovely weekend. Right, I'm going to see you on Thursday. So, um, bye and all that.